Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sea of Cinders. I updated the version. Basically, well, I didn't update. I, I just started fresh in the updated version of the map, which changed a few little things, but you didn't miss much, so you're not getting to see any of it. <laughs> I just played up to this point again. I think that's where I left off, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, so there's the potions chest, and there's the other chest, and that about does it, I think, for what we what we've accomplished so far in the old version of the map. This version of the map, uh, some of the rooms look a bit different. I think um, the the room with the the prime TNT. I think there were originally four piles of TNT and in our first run through two of them blew up and in this one three of them blew up uh, so that room looks a little bit different I also think that the wool room the yellow room yellow wool room is lower in this updated version and what else is different oh yeah we got some blocks that I didn't use yet for <laughs> some stupid reason I saved them and I yeah mined a bunch of slabs again for raging purposes and I think my gear should be about the same um, I have more arrows because there were some arrows in the chest somewhere and I think that's it for things that are different here's the extra stuff uh, that I decided to save here yeah <laughs> so we're back here in the mushroom place was it called Frame shroom, cinder shroom, fire shroom, something fire related, and then a shroom, and then I think it's cavern. Um, these could all be trapped, so we might want to be a little, a little bit careful here. There hasn't been, there hasn't been a trap in a while, right? Am I missing something? No, I don't think I've, I'm forgetting any any traps. But yeah. It's definitely something we should keep in mind. Uh, it definitely feels like the, the traps that we did see so far, which were mostly just the two TNT... It was two TNT traps of the acacia logs outside in the starting area. I think those were mostly designed uh, to, one, uh, scare you and to, to make you aware of the fact that there will be traps in this map. Which I think is very nice, because it's it's really bad. I think bad design. If uh, there's no yeah, there are no traps, and then all of a sudden there's a trap that just kills you, and you have no way of seeing it coming. Basically, I feel like this is fair. Um, I have blocks already. What do I want there? Nothing really. I might want to switch my boots. And actually, yeah, I'll switch everything else. Uh, I guess we'll we'll do that. We can make new armor here. We also have the way we have ways to farm food now with carrots. Oh, I lost my potato though. That's something I don't have anymore that I had in the previous run because that was a lucky drop. But we have carrots; it's fine. Oh, I got two music discs discs instead. They are one is in the chest here, and I think one is at the monument. Uh, but let's get going here. It's already four minutes in and I've not moved. Okay, more of these bad zombie guys. A very annoying spider. Well, that works, I guess. It's not really what I had planned there, but... What are these guys called? Frameshroom. Okay, so it's probably Frameshroom Caverns then. Frameshroom Warriors and... What are the skeletons called again? They have a short name, but I don't remember what it is now. Stupid spiders, I hate them. All right. What I don't have a lot of is food. I might have some food left. Yeah, I have some food left at the monument. And maybe some... No, I don't think I have anything. Well, the carrots in that chest, but other than that, there's not much that I have in terms of food. Uh, so there's a spawner there. Do I see something green right there? I think I do. 
Uh, yeah, I do. That's a that's an emerald. I'm pretty sure right there. Uh, spawner right here. And then I guess we loop around on the back side of this room. I think that's the way to go. We could try and go to the right here, but it doesn't look like there's a path. Also, there are vines area. I hate vines. I really do. But it's going to be fine. We're going to be good. I also need to make a new pick soon. Which means I should probably carry this one with me. This workbench. I mean, there's more wood here now, but we still can't make trees, so I shouldn't waste too much wood. So these are definitely pre-spawn spawners, and it definitely feels like they don't really care about light level all that much. And there's a witch somewhere uh, because there's lots of there was lots of fire around that spawner. It was very brightly lit, and they still spawned. Where is that witch at? Oh, it's right here. I think it's stuck down there. Let's just see. We're fine. I hope it's true. That first hit was on four hit. Hate when that happens. I, mean, I think I have the crit kill and I don't. Uh, skeletons left. I hate the stone pick. It's so slow. I think that's the first thing I really want. It's an iron pick. And yeah, I should keep killing skeletons with looting sword with the looting sword because we need bones and arrows both. And she's not gonna die from that. She's stuck down there now? No, she just took 17 hops to get back up here. And she's fully healed by now, so yeah, it's a waste of time. Where's that zombie? Is that below me? Is it like an extended ledge down there? It might be. Okay, bad skeletons. But they're fighting each other? Or they should be. Uh, yeah, we break this one. I left the other spawn alive, just like I did in the previous run, the one up top. Smoker, that's what they're called. Okay. This looks okay. It's a chest. Don't think that's anything. Oh, creepers. Oh, very fast creepers. I don't like that very much. I hate that, like, my. Yeah, the entire timing is, like, thrown off. I can't fight these creepers like I fight normal creepers. Which makes me unhappy. Where is that spawner? Oh, right here. Don't spawn. Didn't spawn. Good. Could have been scary if there's one behind me. <laughs> but didn't happen. Sweet. Alright. It's all good. Great. Um. That's pretty nice, I guess. Uh, five of each, five of each. And a fire shroom charm. Inhabitants of the Cinder Sea have long used these charms for protection. This is an offhand item that gives health and armor instead of the arrow blocking abilities of the shield, which I guess in specific scenarios this could be very good. Like in low skeleton scenarios or scenarios where I have like um, projectile protection armor, or just really good armor in general. This could be a very good offhand item to use instead of a shield. And the mushrooms are good because I can potentially farm them. By just planting them in darkness, I guess. Um, I, I can't see myself doing that, because <laughs> I can't bone meal them. Well, I guess I can make big mushrooms. <laughs> With bone meal. But even then, while the mushroom stew is not bad in terms of uh, how much hunger it fills, it's just it doesn't stack. So I can't see myself using mushroom soup as my main, you know, 
know, food thing. Actually, let's leave these mushrooms here and dump some other stuff into this chest as well. Actually, yeah, we don't need to carry the charm on us if we're not using it. So what do we have here? There's a spawner here. I'm gonna bet it's either the creepers or the skeletons. <laughs> Probably the skeletons, because you have the bridge over there. Um, but there's the emerald. And then on this side, we have some coal ore uh, and a spawner here. But then it looks like it dead, dead ends again. This is kind of strange. Oh yeah, and then there's like a, a path over here too. Looks like going up to the left maybe, or to the right there, it's hard to say. Guarded by a spawner here, but there's also no way to get there without making a bridge or digging a tunnel, which, eh. It's fine, but I'd, I'd prefer to have like a way to go. I guess we're just going through on this side first. Oh, coal blocks, I didn't, I didn't notice those yet. That's very nice. It's the, the best way of getting coal in a CTM. Well, other than just having chests full of it. <laughs> coal blocks, very, very efficient way of getting coal. And there goes our pick. Uh, I don't have a lot of cobble left either on me. I think I have more in places, but sweet. Yeah, that's very good. Storage blocks are very nice. Safe inventory space. I hear skeletons on this side, but we saw those skeletons might just be natural spawned skeletons. Not smokers. We'll have to check. It sounds like it's. Mm. No, it's definitely getting louder, so there are more skeletons now than there were a second ago. So I'm gonna assume there's a spawn or two. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. These guys are fighting now, which is exactly what we wanted. How did they hit me? Was it an arrow stuck on a block that hit me? Could have been. Come over here. Come closer, guys. Blindness. It's very charring. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm low on food, which is not great. Also, that spawner is still around because I've not destroyed it. Can we find it like this? Yeah, we can. Maybe this would have been a good one to keep actually because it's in a very secluded spot, but. Excellent. All right. Uh, what did we get from all of that? Up to 54 arrows and 10 new bones. That's very good. It's a lot of food. Well, it's not a lot, but it's some food. Another bone here. And now that we have more core, I really would have liked that potato. <laughs> uh, now that we can make uh, charcoal or just use the builder's fuel. Um, also, my shield is about to break, which is not very good. Too many skeletons here. <laughs> Way too many. So light is not really gonna do much here, but let's light it up anyway. Ah, oh, come on. More bones, more arrows. Let's back off. And try and rush the spawner before it spawns again. 
Got it, sweet. Oh, and there's another smoker spawner right there. There's a chest too. And I think, yeah, there's a skeleton spawner, a smoker spawner right there. So bridging over there is going to be fun. I mean, the good thing is we have shields, but... They're still very annoying. At least they don't have knockback, it's just a blindness. Any more spawners here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, and Lapis. Lapis ore. That's a zombie spawner. That's oh, a potion spawner, but that's the zombie kind. And can this be trapped? Not really. It gives us more torches, some place powder, flint and steel, which is nice, and a leather tunic, which I'm not very excited about. Because whatever it has enchanted on it, I didn't even check. It's leather. It's just gonna melt away anyway. Paste out here. It has brass protection unbreaking. I guess the unbreaking kind of makes it more viable as a armor piece, but um, I s I'm still gonna prefer the fire protection uh, right here. How's our head about to break? I guess it was low and then, but yeah, we repaired it, but we didn't fully repair it. Ah. Or did I make a new one? Did I end up making a new one? What did I end up repairing? What did I make? I don't remember now. I mean, I didn't make any armor. I, I thought about it for sure. I don't remember the specifics now. Where's that spider? Don't hear it anymore. There's definitely a skeleton and some lava through that war. I think. It sounds like lava's on this side as well. Which might be where the dungeon just goes. Oh, look at that floating creeper. That's scary. <laughs> it's not a very friendly ledge up there. Why is he staring into the war? I kind of want to kill him because his he might drop on our heads, but he, he seems very stuck. He hasn't moved at R. That is very strange. Is that normal? How did he spawn that he could climb there? I guess there? And he walked over? No, but there's a two block gap. Would he be able to walk and then climb this? This is a very strange creeper up there. I don't like it. It almost makes me think there's something going on there, some map making thing, not just a normal creeper. All of these could be trapped as well, so we should be really careful. Like of all the gravity blocks, the sand. Any block we break here could trigger something. It's hard to prevent though. Do you want to bridge to there first and then keep going that way? I guess. So where's, where's the best way to bridge from? This is, seems very far. I think it's the, the closest spot to the to the land from this island is over here, right? Right about here. Almost seems destined to be the spot to go from. A creeper up there. I don't like these ceiling spawn points. You need to be careful if you hear a skeleton, we need to run. Because if it like walks here and shoots us, we might fall. Okay, there's a skeleton. And over there, a bat caught fire and died. No knockback on these guys, huh? I haven't really realized that yet, but it seems to be something that's the case. Knockback resistance. We could jump the rest of the way. Then run around the other side, kill the spawner. 
Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Could you stop moving? Something weird about their movement too, I mean... Where did that guy come from? <laughs> I heard a step, but I thought it was me sneak stepping, but it wasn't. <laughs> was a creeper. I guess there's some darkness here. I don't really know. That was not good. Be careful. Okay. Do we just? I'm I, I'm nervous about this. It doesn't feel like a good idea to run over there, or to jump over there all the way back, and without a hat on. Um. Sure. No guts, no glory. Stay with the backs of war. Maybe not in the fire though. Didn't see that there. Oh, the fire resistance doing a very good job though. Okay. Uh, some lapis here. We're not even first thing. We need a way back. I don't need any fire here, and I don't want any spawns here either. So maybe. Do some lightning. Uh, all of this could be trapped again. I hate, I hate the sand everywhere. I'm paranoid now. There hasn't even been a trap in a while, but I feel like that's that's why I'm expecting one. It's been too long. It's trying to lure me into a false sense of security here. Got the emerald. Got the thing. Let's just go. We have some lapis back at home. We can come back for the lapis. Let's just get the ammo to safety. I guess this is safety right here. And... Yeah, I never made a hat, right? I was about to have an extra crafting paper. I don't remember how that happened. But somehow it did, apparently. Actually, yeah, let's repair these together. My shield is about to break. I don't have enough iron to make new shields, so... I guess we just store this one. And start using the red one. Why not, right? How long is this episode? 23 minutes? We could call it here. We got an emerald. We secured this first part of this room. I don't know, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a trap, right? Why would it just... Yeah, I don't know. Why would you trap an emerald, right? Like it's like trapping a wool box. That would be mean. <laughs> Still gonna stay on our toes. I think I'm gonna go this way now. Just because I don't know. For good no good reason really. I just want to. I guess because there are two witches over there and a the creeper. <laughs> but that just happened. That wasn't part of the decision making process, to be honest. I guess we're going through the war here. How far is it? I don't like that I have to dig so much here. But there's no other way, right? I can't just... Uh, that was... Oh yeah, that was the zombie spawner. Sounds like potion, because it's a potion. <laughs> Splash potion. How far is this? If I was right here... Or more lapis here? That's not trapped for sure. Oh, it's not zombies, it's creepers. That's even worse. <laughs> yeah, there was no moaning, and they're stuck on the floor, which is also very interesting. This is not very safe. I hate these guys. And I spawned some more just now. Flame shroom infused creeper. 
how is that not within my reach? That's bogus. I can definitely hit that guy with my axe. But I spawned like 17 more. So that's really mean. Like I have to go super slow through the wall because there's no other way and I don't have a quick pick. And then when I'm done digging my tunnel, I've spawned 17 creepers on the other side of it. <laughs> that's really mean. I guess I could have gone around the other side. Maybe we'll end up doing that instead. Because I can't even rush the spawner, the creeper spawner especially. Like zombie spawner, that's fine, probably. I can at least attempt it, and if I fail, I get hit maybe once or twice, but I'll be able to recover. But with the creepers, if they spawn behind me, I might just be toast. <laughs> so... That's really mean. Did we put a torch there at least? To slow it down a bit? I think we did one. Let's maybe see if we can't add another one and then end the episode there. Also there needs to be a block here and here and here and here and here. <laughs> this spawned even more of them. Great. Really? Can't reach that? Fake news. I could go in the floor actually and break the spawner from from beneath it, from underneath it, from below it. Or I could try and do this right here. that come on I can don't pretend like I can I should have gone underneath instead trying to do this save that creeper from suffocating in the spawner <laughs> all right and now we're just gonna back off let them despawn and move on next episode oh why is the darkness here Taking way too many hits on my armor and shield, especially. Also, this is all very, very bright, and I still get natural spawns. <laughs> this guy's still alive. I guess they don't despawn. All right, so that's it for today. <laughs> Long enough. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.